Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica here at Combate Fitness in Los Angeles, California. And today we are gonna talk about securing your bar to the rack so you can do a bunch of weird training on it. Having a rack is a great thing. It's very expensive, most people don't have access to it, but there are certain types of training that require a rack and a bar. The great thing about having a rack like this is that you can adjust the height of your lock-off points. That is another factor which you can control in your training in order to optimize your training. There's a lot of drills that you do for bar muscle ups and for pull ups and everything where you would like to be able to adjust this height of the bar. The problem with that is the bar moves around and that can be extraordinarily dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. So we are going to lock off our bar to the rack. We're going to use these big circular bands that are common in every CrossFit gym. We are going to hook it over the bar. From there, pull behind the bar, pull it tight, and we are going to figure eight over and underneath that bar until we can get it all the way around and snap it into place. Let's do the other side. Over the bar, loop it on, pull it tight, go around that bar a couple of times, and then snap it over your bar holder. Now the bar is in place and you can pull on it, you can push on it, you can jump on it, you can do all types of things without it sliding around. It becomes a firm grip surface. The tighter the band is, the less the bar will rotate. If your band is loose, then the bar can spin. Depends on if that matters to the drills that you're doing or not. That is something which definitely will help you do pull-up drills and bar muscle-up drills later without dying. If you don't secure the bar, you're probably gonna biff it. It's not gonna be funny at all, not for anybody, including you. If you're gonna do bar muscle-up drills, make sure you do it with a bar that's not that low, otherwise you're gonna crack your head. And then get it all the way off. Just unloop, loosen it up, and then it comes all the way off. And then you can go back to using your bar as a barbell instead of as a prop for gymnastics or circus-based activities.